Back today with some acrylic that we've run through the Monport CO2 laser. I wanted to make these little like picture easels or maybe you could hold like a tile or something with them. Um, I, I tried on this side and again, I was just kind of guessing with settings like I do a lot. Uh, and then I actually went and found some good settings. So you can ignore this. I just didn't do anywhere near strong enough. I took it out thinking it had cut through and there was no way I was ever gonna line that back up. So I just flipped it over and try it again. But this is blue acrylic. And if we can peel the paper off here. I'll just do that one side for right now. As you can see here, let me, nice and clean, no melting. Pardon the fingerprint, that's just a fingerprint schmutz because acrylic loves to show fingerprints. There we go. And yeah, we'll just peel this other side off real quick. Uh, I know a lot of people like the CO2 because you can do acrylic. Personally, I don't really have a use to cut acrylic, but now that I see how well this worked, maybe I'll make some stands for some of my Game Boys or something else. Man, that's sure to show your fingerprints. Um, good grief. Sorry, I, my fingernails are terrible at this. I've never been able to peel stuff off. There we go. You could do all kinds of stuff with this. You could make little acrylic boxes. You could cut acrylic lettering. You could cut pretty much whatever. I'm not a terribly creative person, so I don't know what people frequently use this stuff for, but my idea was at some point I will do little stands for a Game Boy so I could show off one Game Boy at a time. I also buy acrylic cases to store my Game Boys in. Uh, the ones I buy are actually machined, so they fit like a glove for the particular kind of Game Boy. But as I continue to grow my collection, those are very cost prohibitive. Uh, so I could just make my own little basic cases and glue them together and yeah. So there's our little stand. Let me see if it'll fit this tile that I was using in another video. Oh yeah. So, you know, you guys can't really see that very well, but it's holding that tile fine. I'm gonna shake the table. Don't mind it. Make a little cute little easel thing. And just to show you what it would look like in wood, um, I do have one here that I cut in wood. Same kind of deal. Although I used the wrong thickness of wood for this template. So it didn't come out quite as nice, but you can do it in wood too. How cool is that? There's a link to this Monport laser in the description. There's an unboxing video on here. There's a bunch of videos where I've used it. I will have a discount code down there, both in the description and sticky comments. So you can save, I think 10% off of any product on their website. And yeah, thanks for stopping by guys. I will see you in the next video.